Hello, Mike MD. Thanks for joining me today. There's a number of reasons why you may need to initialize uh, your sunroof. Uh, whether it's a dead battery or you did a repair on the system or, or something happened. Um, and this is pretty much the same across the board on all of the BMW uh, sunroofs, whether it be pan panoramic or the regular style. Um, and it's pretty simple. You're just gonna make sure the car is running, keys on so you don't kill the battery and that it records the proper amperage reading of the uh, motor. That's how it initializes it here. So we're just gonna hold it in the up position, push straight up, and we're just gonna hold it the whole time. And after a while, it's gonna run its cycle and you're just gonna keep it going. If you hear something binding um, and popping, obviously stop. There's something going on in the system that you're gonna have to repair first. Um, let's see what it does here. It's going. It's doing its thing. Making all kinds of noises here. This is a panoramic sunroof, so this does take the longest out of all the sunroofs. It's going through all its paces here. If it does bind, uh, if it's an older car and it's binding, but it still is operational, you can blow out the track and try to lube it with a little bit of WD, uh, clean out all the debris in there to help it along and try to reinitialize it again. If it does binding or making some weird ratcheting noises or or anything like that, then just try to stop um, and, and see what's going on there. It looks like it's done. That's pretty much it. And then I'm gonna test it. I'm just gonna move it back. The one touch, you wanna make sure all the one touch works on here. It should be working. Now there we go. That's good enough. That's pretty much it. Hope that helped you. We'll see you next time. Happy motoring to you.